morning Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you in the name of he who has two claims upon our lives. First is creator, then is redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ. May we bow the knee to him. Amen. Well, I received a text from a friend of mine in Ethiopia. He's in the Lord's work. And he shared with me about his family, and he shared with me about the condition of the churches in Ethiopia. He had concern for his family, and he had concern for the people of God. And that's as it should we be. We need to keep these in balance. But you know what happens? Sometimes we get so wrapped up in our own families, uh, the people in our own families, we forget the people of God. And so we find in Matthew chapter 13, verse 22, where the Lord said that there was a seed that was planted in thorny ground. The seed represents the Word of God. But one of the thorns was the cares of this world. And it choked the seed. It became unfruitful. In other words, when there is worry in our lives, we cannot be fruitful for God. We just can't. The divine life will suffer. So what are we to do? 1 Peter 5, 7. God gives us the three C's. Casting your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Hallelujah. What are we to do? Casting our cares upon him, for he cares. Casting our cares, for he cares. The three C's. And when we do that, when we really do that, when we cast our burdens and our fears and our anxieties and all those things that we can't control upon him, we can breathe deeply. But then what are we to do? then we can fulfill the biblical mandate. The other side, be concerned for the people of God. Galatians 6, 2, bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. The law of Christ, the authority of Christ's example of serving others. We can fulfill that. We can follow in his example. You know, all the great men and women of the Bible, all of them, they had a deep concern for the people of God. Whether it's Simeon and Anna in the New Testament, whether it's, it's uh, Ezra and Nehemiah, Jeremiah, Joseph. I mean, all of them, they had a great concern for the people of God. We're to have a concern for the people of God. So, uh, and, and it doesn't mean that it's easy. You know, the Apostle Paul, he said in 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 28, besides all those things that are without, all the things that come against me on the outside, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. In other words, he says, I have all kinds of pressures upon me, but one of them also is the care and concern for the people of God. Moses, when he took upon himself that care, or God placed it upon him, in Numbers 11, 11, he's, he complained to God. He says, why have you afflicted thy servant by giving him the burden of all these people? And so it doesn't mean that if we cast our cares upon the Lord, that everything will be easy when we take up the burdens of others. It won't be. But this you can be sure of. If you don't cast your cares upon him, your life will not be fruitful for God. But if you cast your cares upon him and take up the cares of others, bear one another's burdens, your life will be fruitful for God because you will be fulfilling the law of Christ. So let's try this. This week, whenever a fear comes up in our heart or our mind, let's do this. Let's, let's cast it upon the Lord, casting our cares, three C's, casting our cares upon him, for he careth for us. We know that he cares for us. Let's cast our cares upon him, and then let's think of someone that we know, and let's take up their burden and put it upon our hearts and bring it before the Lord and ask the Lord how we might be of a help to them. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.